That's what love is. Love doesn't have to be told, heal the sick. Love, listen, love wants to heal the sick even if you didn't think it was God's will. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to do this, God. I hope you don't get mad, but I'm going to do it anyway because I look at this person and they need it. Now, how many of you know God's never going to go, well, hmm, no, I really didn't want that person healed, but go ahead. No. Where do you think that idea came from? That's God. It is God in you both to will and to do his good pleasure. Does this make sense? See, love goes beyond commands. Carnal Christianity is always looking for the command. What do I got to do? What do I, how do I know I'm in here? Well, see, you'd make a good Jew. <laughs> Why? Because the Jews knew exactly how far they could walk on the Sabbath. They knew exactly the details, the commands. But Jesus comes along and goes, hey, you know? no, you can walk further than that. Why? Because I'm going to go heal the sick. So it's important that I walk further than that. And oh, you can't heal the sick on the Sabbath. Like, uh, I'm helping a person. You let your animals out to eat, get something to drink, man's more. See, religion always puts these rules, but love says, uh, you know what? I am actually willing to bend the rules if necessary. Why? To help this person. And I can promise you, you might bend the rule, but you'll never bend love. Because there's no law against love. Amen? Y'all getting anything out of this? So, okay. He said that was just our duty. I'm going to leave it there because we could go more, but it's talking about the rest, and I've already talked about rest. But I just wanted you to get a hold of this today, both, both sides. I know the first part was kind of rough, you know, um, but there's things that need to be said. There's things that need to be fixed before we can, you know, get on the path fully and the way we're supposed to be. But our, our faith in God should be always toward God because of our love for him and our love for people. So it shouldn't just be, well, my faith got me a car, my faith got me this, my faith got me a new job. Okay, but you could do that without love. Right? But you should be looking at what you can do with faith because of love. But see, if you don't have love, you're not even looking outside yourself. You're just looking at yourself. What can my faith get me? And you're not even thinking about what your faith could do for other people. See, that's where love comes in. Love says, oh, man, look at this. I got this. This is awesome. Oh, they don't have that. You know what? Here, let me, let me, let me share. And while you're sharing a meal or something together, you're talking to them. And so you, you just realize love is always looking out for other people too. Yeah? That, that's why you see it a lot of times like in mothers and stuff. You know, a lot of times people are eating and you can see the mother in the bunch, even if it's not their mother. Why? Because while everybody else is sitting down and starting to eat, they're still running around. Have you got this? Have you got that? Have you got this here? You need to, I'll go get this for you. Why? Because that's a mother's heart of love, right? Well, we have that in our father's heart toward us that he's always looking ahead and going, oh, you're going to need this when you get there. You're going to need that when you get there. And so guess what? He provided this and that before you ever got there. And when he provides that before you, that's called provision. And he makes that provision for you. And guess what? He did all that provision before we ever even got here. Before the foundation of the world, he provided all this stuff. And really, he set it out there. Just like when we go to California, I'm not loading up my car with, you know, 25 gas cans full of gas. You know why? Because somebody had enough prevision to make provision and set up gas stations along the way. And all I got to do is get to the next one. So I have to plan to make sure I got enough now to get to the next place. And when I get there, guess what? Provision will be there. I just got to get there. But if I just sit in my driveway with my car running, sooner or later, it will run out of gas. And then I ain't going nowhere. Why? Because I didn't get to where the provision was. 